Piango provides a full grants management lifecycle product built on top of the NetSuite platform. This means that your data is 100% integrated and your user experience is the same as any other NetSuite application. And from a security perspective, you're using the same secure platform as all of the rest of your NetSuite application. Not only can grants be tracked, we also provide a full accounting solution to make sure that all of your expenses and revenue associated with grants are properly booked within the NetSuite accounting system. Grants typically start at the fundraising perspective or identifying which grants to be applied for for a particular organization. And we can manage those proposals all the way through to an award process. And then we can set up various terms and conditions required for that particular grant. Grants can be allocated to projects, programs, or even sub-awards. And then finally, a grant can be closed out once the term has been completed. When allocating grants to outbound grants, this scenario means that we are providing a sub-award to another organization that would actually provide the services direct, maybe in a different country. We can promote the idea of these funding opportunities, receive applications for those funding opportunities, generate awards, disperse the funds, and then track these expenses. All of this, again, is done on top of the NetSuite platform and integrated with your core financials. Now let's move into NetSuite. From the standard NetSuite dashboard, we can see our grants related items and we can then drill down and look at all of our grants. In this demo, we're assuming we're an organization that is providing research for various veteran affairs and we have received a particular grant called the Wounded Warrior Research Grant. We can track a variety of attributes for this particular grant, such as its detailed description, who the sponsor is, and just by hovering over various items, we can see the integration within NetSuite, and we can link back to the standard customer record within NetSuite. We can identify the status of the grant, and this provides that full lifecycle tracking that is capable within Piango Grants. The total amount of the grant who is in charge of the grant, and whether the grant is a single year, multi-year, etc., and priority. All of these attributes can be configured, added to, hidden, etc. We also track a wide variety of financials. What has been awarded in total, what has been awarded in a fiscal year, and as well as we can do multiple currencies. We can provide the timeline of the grant as far as when the grant starts, when it ends, when it was applied for, and a variety of other attributes. A grant may have subgrants associated with it. In this case, we have this bipolar disorder research grant and a PTSD related grant. These total amounts of the subgrants will add up, including specific grants for this particular grant, to our total of 450,000. We can track when grants are expected to receive funding, and then when payments are actually received, you can recognize revenue through standard NetSuite processes. For each grant, you can identify a variety of milestones. Milestones typically are related to reports or project evaluations. Any of these can be customized and we will send out notifications to the appropriate people responsible and the team on predefined timelines. So whether that's two weeks or four weeks in advance of this particular milestone. Normally, grants come with terms and conditions. These terms and conditions can be attached over in the files area to be able to track all of your contracts that you might have related to a grant, as well as you can list out specific terms that are going to be achievable for this particular grant, whether this is minority participation, which is more informational, or direct and indirect cost share terms that are set up to be able to charge back for a cost reimbursable grant. Many grants can be billed back to the donor, and we set up a allowable set of expenses that could potentially be charged to the donor, either as a direct cost or an indirect cost. And you can identify specific GL accounts, departments, and locations that you might charge back to. Each particular charge could have a cap amount that could be allocated for this particular grant. 
Piango will then sweep through all expense related transactions and generate invoices to the donor. And we can see that here by taking a look at the grant revenue and grant expense details. So for each grant, we can identify all of the vendor bills that have been charged against this particular grant. And then we can take a look at our grant revenue and see invoices that have been created as a result of those expenses. If I click over here, I can look at that particular invoice. So notice that it was an indirect cost recovery that we've been charging to our donor. And we identify all of the expenses and which vendor bills that they came from. This can then be transmitted to the donor for payment. And you would go through your normal NetSuite receivables process to accept payments. In addition to direct or indirect costs that might be related to, say, rent or utilities, we can also track employee allocations to our grant. So you can identify which employees are working on this particular grant and what their overall percentage of allocations should be to this grant. This information can then be collected from your payroll imports into NetSuite, and then the billable hours could potentially be charged back to the donor if that is your business process. Many times, grants are received from an organization that requires matching. This could be either internal or general funds, or it could be other grants that have also been received, and you may need to do a matching percentage. It could be dollar for dollar, or in this example, a 25% match from the Homeless Wounded Warrior Grant. Again, we can track the total cap amount. So this means that the Homeless Wounded Warrior could fund this Wounded Warrior Research Grant up to $20,000 at a 25% rate. We can then track the specific transactions and line items that have been charged from the matched grant to this particular target grant. We also may want to be able to track modifications to our grant. Whenever a grant is edited, and for example, the principal investigator has been changed or an end date has been changed, we will log this in a nice user-friendly way to see a history of changes for that particular grant. Now let's take a look at some key grant reports that can be generated on a grant by grant basis and also for a user defined date range. So I can do an annual, quarterly, or really any type of snapshot for a particular grant and I can generate a revenue and expense report now this revenue and expense report is a quick and simple way to look at all of the revenue and expenses for a particular grant within a time range. We can also generate the federal financial report information that many organizations are required to report. This is the 425 report and we populate that with data based upon the date range that has been selected for each of your grants. And since Grants is built on top of the NetSuite platform, we can leverage many of their built-in save search capabilities as well as KPIs. So we can see on the dashboard here, quarterly grant awards over time, as well as we can look at grant amounts by grant administrator. So you might have several people in charge of your grants and identify who's in charge of a certain dollar amount of the various grants. Thank you for listening to Piango Grants Management.